I visited an old gold mine in Alaska, USA. This item was in the museum, and everyone was stumped by it. The wings are made out of wood, and the spikes are metal. There were a lot of tools in the museum, not necessarily related to gold mining. They called it a museum, but it was more like a shed with a bunch of tools. Can you help us identify this thing? In Swedish, it's called a hekla, and according to translate, it's called a hekel in English, and was a common tool in the 19th century. They come in varying densities, for increasingly refining the flax to remove the toe, or short fibers, leaving only the line, or the long bast fibers, which is spun into linen. I've heckled and spun with flax when I went to fashion school. Just don't forget to tell the museum so they can put up a new sign. My son and I found this small copper part while metal detecting on our property. It was found buried several inches in the dirt in the woods. The land used to be farmland long before we bought it. The top cap-like piece sits on the bottom piece and they are soldered together. On the rim is inscribed 165F and 74C, which must be a reference to temperature. 165 Fahrenheit correlates to 74 Celsius. Other than that, I have no other information about this thing and have no clue what it is. Any help would be greatly appreciated. It's the water release mechanism for a 1940s Grinnell DuraSpeed fire sprinkler head. As part of the complete assembly, when this piece is exposed to heat from a fire, the solder melts and allows the two pieces to spring apart and release water onto the sprinkler head. What is this metal and wood thing I found with walls for slicing? The base is heavy wood around 14 by 8 inches, and the metal top slides off to reveal a flat piece of wood atop two super stiff springs. I bought it for 20 bucks at an antique store, and I thought it was a bread slicer, but I realized it wasn't produced as a bread slicer originally. Cherry Burl used to make dairy equipment, butter molds and slicers, etc. Does anyone know what this thing actually is? It's an ice cream brick slicer and receptacle, designed to prevent the product from melting. Ice cream used to be sold in bricks, and this appears to be a cutter to turn them into smaller bars, which would then be coated with chocolate, I'm assuming. An ice block goes inside the box, and the springs push the ice up so that it remains in contact with the metal plate, so it remains cold. Slide your ice cream brick onto the top, push the special multi-bladed knife in, and perhaps add sticks in as well, then coat. Then you can sell the individual slices without having to worry about putting the block back in the ice box every time. I can't find the exact patent of this item, but I found an almost similar item, patented May 4th, 1926. What is this old drinking cup found in Northeast China? It weighs 210 grams and it has weird oxidation that flakes off. I found it in my great-grandparents' backyard in Heilin City, Mudanjiang City, Heilongjiang Province, pretty far up in northeast China. I found it about two feet buried in the ground. It has noticeable oxidation and rust, solid metal, and no writing on the object. Can anyone help with determining its authenticity or material composition? It's a ritual Chinese wine cup used during the ritual celebrations of the ancestors, but a replica from the 1970s. The original bronze wine cups were found in the grave of the Emperor of the Qin Dynasty, 200 BC. They were buried with the Emperor for more than 2,000 years, and they are now in the museum. I'm guessing a copper alloy from the green and red oxidation. What is this wooden tool with comb-like prongs? Three glass vials positioned behind the prongs, and a small handle behind the vials. My first thought was some sort of fiber arts tool, like something for weaving, carding wool, or winding yarn. But Google searches with terms like wooden weaving comb glass vials or wooden tool with glass vials and prongs haven't revealed anything. Thanks in advance. It's a cranberry scoop turned into a decorative bud vase from the first half of the last century. The discoloration and wear on the wooden tips would indicate that it has picked its fair share of berries. My kid sent me this, asking me what it is. I have no idea. The stamp on the glass reads, Trademark November 20th, 1917 and April 8th, 1919, 
the Cleveland Metal Products Company, made in USA. The top of the glass has me perplexed. What is this thing? It's a kerosene dispensing jar, missing a bale wire handle, an antique glass refillable container once used many years ago to hold the fuel for a kerosene stove. It was made out of glass so you could see when it was empty. These were used regularly on the old railroads to store kerosene for the kerosene stoves used in the caboose. It used to have a bale wire handle attached to a band around the top of the bottle for carrying. I found this while drilling holes in Rochester, New York. It is glass with three glass tabs on the bottom. There is a wire coming out of the bottom and a perforated copper plate that appears to have coiled wire behind it. I have looked up glass dome, glass insulator, glass transistor, glass with coiled wire inside, and every other iteration I could think of, and I am stumped. It's also approximately 7.5 ounces, but it could be because there is dirt or something else inside. Any idea what it is for? It's an agate electric cigar lighter that usually comes with an ashtray. It was manufactured in the 1930s by Acro Agate Company, located in Akron, Ohio. Once plugged in, the underside of the lighter heats quickly to a glowing red hot. When set on its feet, the lighter is off. But when turned over, an interior switch activates and heats the coil. What is this small ceramic pot? I have wondered what this thing was for literally over a decade. The lid goes nearly to the bottom inside and has a single hole in its side. It appears handmade, hand-painted, and has what is maybe an artist's mark on the bottom. The lid diameter is 4.5 inches, and the height with the lid on is 3.25 inches. I can't find anything that has that specific hole in the lid when searching ceramic jars. And I think that hole might indicate its purpose. Thanks for any guesses, folks. It's a butter dish. This style of butter dish is said to have originated in France during the late 19th century. Butter at room temperature quickly turns rancid when exposed to oxygen, but all that's really needed is to keep air away from the butter. A French butter dish does this by using water to form a seal between the butter and the air. You fill the bell up with butter, put water in the larger container, and invert the bell into the water. Because butter is basically an oil, it won't mix with the water. And as long as it's not too hot, it will remain sticky enough to stay inside the bell. You can keep this on your kitchen table so that butter is always available without the need to soften it. What is this thing that came with an antique German glass boiling flask? There are no markings on it, and the silver plate interior is lined with a felt-like material. The flask is 26 centimeters high, the diameter is approximately 15 centimeters, and maybe 1.5 to 2 liters. The shell is approximately 28 centimeters high, and its diameter is around 20 centimeters. Any ideas? Please tell us in the comments. Thanks for watching. Let's make life fun.